Hi guys, myself and Sweetie have decided to bring you a review and this is Hummingbird from Zoologist Perfumes. Is it Zoologist or Zoologist? You tell me. That's the sample that I've been trying and what I wanted to do was give you the image that this fragrance evokes to me. So I'll do my best here. Imagine beautiful watercolour. Now I use the word, I use the image of watercolour because there is an absolute uh, wateriness to this fragrance and I'm not saying it, it smells watered down. What I'm saying is it somehow manages to give the feeling of water throughout the whole fragrance. So it made me immediately picture sort of watercolours um, and watercolours can be so beautiful. I really do like watercolours. So anyway, you've got this watercolour and it's a watercolour of the most beautiful, vibrant scene. It's an orgy of nature. It's an oasis. It's a nirvana. Picture this beautiful place, this colourful, colourful place. There's um, lots of grass, very lush, dewy grass. There's a turquoise pond that's still and clear and beautiful with uh, dragonflies buzzing around above it and uh, water pads, you know, what those big leaves that frogs sit on, water lilies. <laughs> and in the air is fresh and w wet and watery and there's pear trees with massive, huge, overripe pears just hanging off of them. There's bees buzzing around and they're bumping into each other because they're intoxicated on the beautiful things that they are drinking. There's hummingbirds, of course, hummingbirds. Some of them are humping because they're absolutely intoxicated from all the beautiful nectars that they're managing to greedily suck up. They're <laughs> um, it's a naughty nirvana. It's beautiful and it's natural, but there's absolutely naughtiness. It's got a feeling that you shouldn't be there, that it's a secret place that only some people very, very privileged would know about. What happens is, is this is a moving watercolour and as you watch it, slowly the greenness takes over. It gets more green. There's, the grass is growing. It's getting lush and it's so dewy. It's so dewy and lush. It's like you could never, ever feel first in a place like this. There's flowers that are just dancing around like exotic, erotic, naughty dancers. And they're all different colours and shapes and sizes. There's carnations. The carnations are huge. They're giving off this spicy warmth into the air. Sexy and spicy. Now the greenery is taking over and it's getting lusher and greener. And the feeling becomes more serene. The hummingbirds aren't humping anymore. They're um, settling down. They're relaxing and just hanging out. And slowly this vanillic, soft, soft, creamy fog or mist starts to settle over everything. It's really, really slow as it just gets more and more and more prevalent and uh, it never dominates this soft silky creamy vanillic mist but it just gently settles upon everything and it adds a touch of sweetness and beauty to what is this all this sort of greenery and um, almost not acidic but slightly sharp with the wateriness but then this cream this vanillic cream just settling in there it just makes it all so serene and relaxing 
and it just slowly fades and fades and fades into the night time. It's very relaxing. And that is what hummingbird evokes in me. It's a real image to me. It's definitely an oasis and it's one that is very, very nice to be in and to picture. So um, that's really all myself and Sweetie have to say. Sweetie's found it so relaxing to be in the hummingbird naughty nirvana that she's pretty much almost fallen asleep. Anyway, I'm going to go. Bye bye. <laughs>